Kids, I'm Dr. Darden, an engineer here at NASA Langley Research Center. I've done sonic boom research here for many, many years. What's a sonic boom? Doesn't it have to do with the speed of airplanes? Yes, it does. A sonic boom occurs when an airplane travels faster than the speed of sound. We do lots of sonic boom testing in this wind tunnel. In fact, the first models that we used were no larger than my fingernail. When an airplane travels through the air, it generates pressure waves that travel at the speed of sound in all directions. A plane flying at the speed of sound moves at the same speed as the disturbances, causing a shock wave to form. When the plane flies faster than the speed of sound, the shock wave forms a cone shape attached to the nose of the airplane. Air pressure just inside the cone is high, and air pressure ahead of the cone is normal. This shock wave, or cone, extends to the ground, perhaps 10 to 15 miles. The sonic boom is heard when the sudden change in pressure crosses your ear. Let me demonstrate for you with this balloon. The air pressure inside this balloon is higher than the air pressure outside the balloon. If I pop the balloon, a shock wave is generated much like a sonic boom. Could there be a very high frequency sound that people can't hear, but dogs can? Absolutely, but remember that very high frequency sound can't come from far away. Because high frequency sounds don't travel very far. That's right. Thanks, Dr. Darden. You're welcome. Goodbye and good luck.